Let's talk about the women's 100-meter freestyle. A lot of storylines coming into this event, just like we saw in the men's race with Dressel and Chalmers and, and Kolesnikov, all those guys. We had a lot of big names in this field. Emma McKeon from Australia, who we expected to win, who had the Olympic record. She broke that in the semis, I believe. Didn't break that world record, but guess what? The world record holder was in this event. She got fifth. That's Sarah Hoistrom of Sweden. A lot of respect for her. Broke her elbow back in February. Had a disappointing 100 fly, but she stepped up. But how about Hahe? Trains at Michigan from Hong Kong. Kate Campbell steps in there. So the Aussies go 1-3, gold and bronze. And let's take a look at how they split it. Look at that 51.9. Amazing. She was out 25-0, 26-8. Guys and girls who are watching this, if you swim the 100 freestyle in a short course pool or a long course pool, this is how you split the race. This is an absolutely perfect split. It's 1.8 second variance, 1.80 variance between the first 50 to the second 50. That is absolutely perfect. Now, if we take a look at how Jorge swam it, she had a lot of speed going out. A little bit more variance. Still solid. 2.07. Very, very good. Now, when you look at Kate Campbell, a lot of speed. She kind of fell off. This is the difference. When you see that 26.8 on the way home compared to the 27.3, that's the difference, at the Olympics at least, between a gold medal and a bronze medal. And I want to see what you guys think down below in this comment. Look at that. McKeon, McKeon. Sub 52 is fast. Yeah, look at that. McKeon wins 51, great time. Hahi, shocking for second. Hello from Russia. Great job, Ryloff. There we go. Last event, but we're talking about... Oh, <laughs> we got to make sure we're talking about the right event. Swimmer in lane one. No swimmer in lane one has ever won any kind of medal. Well, you know what? That's not that surprising because... You know, the top seeded swimmers from the prelims and semis end up in the middle of the pool. So they're more likely to win anyway. How do you think Hahe will do at the next Olympics? You know, I was just talking to someone about, not specifically Hahe, but some of these athletes, like we're talking about Caleb Dressel and others, and how they will perform after these Olympic Games, whether it's, you know, they continue their career in Paris in 2024. And, you know, when is your physical prime? And really what I was saying is that for a lot of these athletes and just as human beings, it's as long as you're mentally engaged and you want it bad enough, you're going to keep training and probably keep performing. The problem becomes when you mentally are complacent and you don't feel like you need to do any more and you start going through the motions. That's when, you know, you could be 19 years old. You could be 29 years old. You know, it really doesn't matter in terms of age. But for these top athletes, if they're mentally not in it, you never, your body, it doesn't matter what your body can do physically, you're not going to be there. So for any of these swimmers, you know, we've seen teenagers, we've seen swimmers in their 20s and 30s. It's all about being consistent and having the mental mindset of wanting to take your career to the next level and continue to improve. As Caleb Dressel says, progress, not perfection. So that's really the key. And that's what I think separates some of the best athletes in the world. Look at Penny Alexiak. Now, that's important to note. This variance here, she didn't go out fast enough. That's what that means. To go back in a 27.1, look at this. She went a 27.1, but she went out way faster. You see the difference there? 25.1 to 25.4. Penny Alexiak is a defending gold medalist in this event, but she's off the podium. These are our podium swimmers. She came in fourth. So you got to go out. You got to go fast. And... Sarah can come home fast. Yeah, let's look at Stoystrom. What does she split? There it is. 26.9. Wow. This is not a big enough variance. So this is 1.2 seconds. She did not go out fast enough. That 27.57, you know, I, I don't know if it's a training with the elbow, whatever, but she didn't push it hard enough. And she was in contention. Look how close she was. I know there's a lot on the screen, but this is third place. And this was what... Hoistrom got she was point less than point two away from the podium so that's that's tough to see that very tough to see that 